Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to City Skylines Green Cities. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back in the beautiful city of Greendale where things are going very well indeed. We're sitting over $6 million. We have a population of 67, almost 68,000 people. We have some demand for commercial and industrial slash office zoning. And last time, well, last time we built this airport that I'm really, really happy with. Now, obviously, it's quite basic. There's nothing particularly exciting about it. I just really like it. I think it's just nice looking, you know, it's the, the road thing here and the way the highways come in and go out and all that stuff. I just think it looks kind of nice is what I'm getting at. Uh, and I am really, really pleased with it. I would love to say that I went ahead and uh, got some parking lot assets between episodes, but the truth is I didn't. And the reason I didn't is because for the last like 10 days, this episode's going out on the 19th of December. And for the last like 10 days, I've been in Sweden. So I'm kind of pre-recording this video before I go on that trip. This should be like the last video I'm pre-recording for that trip. So next time we'll probably have some parking lots, but this time, nah, -uh, we don't. And that's just the way it's going to be. So we're not really going to do much with the airport today. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is basically duplicate this area over here. So what we've done here, we're like on this side, we're going to do on the other side. So we're going to go 440 to there. And we are going to go 440 to there. And we are, like I said, just going to duplicate everything that we've already done because I kind of feel like that could be a pretty good idea. I'm going to turn off road guidelines as well because they do mess with things a little bit. So there we go. We'll do that. We're going to have that run to there and we're going to have these roads go. What distance do we have here? 800. Okay. So from this side, we want to go 800. And from this side, we want to go 800. Then this is going to go the whole way around just like that, this bit in the middle gets flipped, and then we'll do exactly the same pattern for zoning. So it's going to be offices all in there, offices all the way across there, and of course around the outside as well. Then we want to do industry, and we'll probably do more of the recycling centers in there. So let's actually go ahead and do that immediately, since those are quite useful to have. Uh, and then what we'll do is bring more industry through like so. And then I guess we go right up to there, I believe, with even more industry. If I'm not mistaken. And I think that's the correct pattern. And we just go ahead and do that right there. I think that's right. No, it isn't. I missed a bit. Uh, this bit over here is also going to be industry. So that's the right pattern and that'll do the job. Uh, so what we got to do here is just bring some pipes around the whole thing. So all the way like that and through that bit. And there we go. So that should give us double the garbage disposal, which I think is going to be kind of important. And that is going to give us that bit more uh, industry as well. And I think what I'm going to do is I am just going to continue the district across. I don't think we need to make it a new district. So we'll just go straight across the road with that, filling in all this space and then probably taking it off of the, uh, just off of the avenue because I can. So there we go. I think that looks all right. Hopefully that's not going to completely overwhelm this roundabout. There is every possibility that could happen. I do want to avoid that, but we're just going to have to, uh, we're just going to have to keep an eye on it. And really, I've realized that uh, this one way road coming in here is going to cause some issues because it does create traffic lights there, which I was kind of wanting to avoid, but I, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. We'll see what happens. We'll see how that goes. 
and uh, see how the area handles it. As for over here, I just want to have another look at you. Um, massive numbers of people wanting to use the metro there. That just makes me really happy. Uh, although the metro numbers are down quite a bit, which is interesting. There's also like zero people using my buses, which is also interesting. Kind of strange that the metro number... Oh, oh that, that right there is probably why the metro numbers are down. Because no one can actually get on a train. Uh, so... Oh, oh, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, can we maybe do something about that? Like, maybe we take out another one of the blue lines, because they were causing some issues. So, like, that's the original blue line. Let's get rid of blue line number 13 there. So we'll take that out and see if things maybe improve a little bit. But I have a feeling we've pretty much hit the capacity for how many lines we can have going around this area. That's that's kind of what it feels like. It feels like, if anything, we just need more stations and I can't really do that. So I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon, at least. But I'm not going to stress about it too much. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to come all the way over here. And we're finally going to get started on this area because we've been meaning to do it for a while. And what I'm thinking I'd actually like to do is I'm going to put another roundabout in here. And we're going to have it be a bit of a smaller roundabout. So five by five. Then another five to there. And like that. And like that. So it is going to be a smaller roundabout than this one. But that's fine because we're going to come off all sides of this. And this is basically going to be sort of, uh, kind of the, the core of this area, is what I'm getting at. So we can build off of this, we can do some interesting things. And what I'm thinking I'd like to do is, number one, I'd like to turn on road guidelines real quick, because I would actually like to follow this, uh, highway here, if possible. Uh, so... It'd be great if all the other guidelines would stop, like, getting in the way here. That's kind of proving to be a little bit annoying. So let's go... Oh, my God. Right, turn guidelines off again, because that's just getting ridiculous. So go to there. We'll go like this, right? So we're going to bring this road the whole way to, like, there. Which will give us some nice zoning the whole way along that highway. Which is what we're going for. Uh, this road's gonna come straight in like that. And that'll be fine. Then we wanna go... down here. And we could just do a big square here, and that's kinda tempting. Because then that road goes straight through like that. But I don't know. I kinda like the idea, for one, of actually having a curve just there. Because I think it just looks a little bit nicer. Um, I do kind of like the idea of maybe bringing a road off of there. So technically that's going to connect straight up. And if we do another curve there, that'd be kind of nice. Uh, so do that and do that, I think. And that'll let us get a bit of a curve there, possibly. We turn on guidelines, hopefully this will work. Uh, so like that. Yeah, that doesn't look so bad. I'm going to use Move It, though, just to raise this up so it looks a little bit more level. And by so it looks a bit more level, I mean so it is a little bit more level. Because uh, the whole thing just needs to be, I think, a little bit flatter around here. So we're just going to raise this all as much as we can without it looking completely ridiculous. We'll bring that up to there. This bit's obviously going to have to come up as well, so that's going to go up to about there. Uh, this bit's gonna have to be raised as well, uh, to say there. It's not perfectly level, but it's good enough. Then that's gonna go to about there. So that, I think, will do the job. Uh, and then I just wanna grab a bit of the terrain and kinda bring it up to that height. So basically, that's all just gonna be leveled out, uh, like so. And then we can actually use the smoothing tool on this to make it look a little bit better. Uh, so if we just make the brush a bit bigger and smooth it out. I think that looks pretty decent. Obviously not perfect, but it does the job. Uh, we'll make this a bit bigger and just smooth out some of that as well. 
It would be nice if we could get a bit better uh, zoning on here, but maybe no zoning on the cliff edge is uh, a better idea over here. Although we did zone over here, so I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I do kind of wonder if I was to change this. Oh, that actually gives us less zoning. Okay, we'll figure that out. We'll come back to the zoning on the cliff edge in just a little bit. Uh, we do need to fill in a lot of these spaces as well, so we'll also be getting to that in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and bring a bit of zoning down here. So it's going to follow that stretch of highway and go up to there. And this will connect straight to there. So that's fine. That's a decent bit of zoning. Uh, these roads could totally connect together. Although that could absolutely go a little bit further forward. Uh, ever so slightly. I don't think it's going to let me do it though. So let me just bring that to there. And oh, can I anarchy those? I actually can and that doesn't look terrible. I mean, it it's dangerous. Don't get me wrong. That's... Incredibly, incredibly dangerous having those roads together like that, so maybe it could be an idea. I was going to say put a couple of trees on it, but I actually can't do that, which is slightly unfortunate. That'll do. That's that's probably fine. It's kind of silly looking, but whatever. Um, you know what? I'm, I am actually going to change that a little bit. Let me go there. And let me go there bulldoze all of that and connect those like so so we can actually have buildings in there so that it doesn't look like it's a road just pressed up against uh you know that road goes 80 miles per hour this one goes like 30 that just that's not safe so that's probably a better idea uh curves could be nice there though so uh let's see about doing some of that Okay, so we got the roads in here. We've got the district all set up. It's Anchor Square. I've got the pedestrian paths all set up as well. We are going to want to bring a metro line down here. So I guess we could probably get that set up pretty quickly. Uh, I'm thinking we'll do a station over there. And I'm thinking we'll do another one like there. So those are going to be connected together uh, pretty simply. So we'll do this kind of thing there, and then just continue this straight up, which is a bit of a weird... It's a bit... That's a, that's a bit of a weird, like, metro line coming kind of done through that area, but it'll do the job, I suppose. Uh, we'll move that stop all the way down to there. And we'll get some stops set up so that uh, people can, you know, come into this space, which I think is going to be kind of important. Uh, because I think this is just going to be largely residential. Uh, we will have some commercial in there. Um, but it's going to be, it is going to be mostly residential, I think. Uh, so we'll do, like, commercial along the avenue sections there. We'll do commercial along, like, those bits. I don't really want any zoning on that bit of avenue done there. So we're not going to do that. Um... I think we'll bring some shops kind of around here as well. Maybe that entire... No, not that entire space. Let's not do that entire space as uh, as shops. Let's do along to there. And there. And then honestly, the rest of that, barring perhaps the bit along the highway, which I think... I think the bit in the highway is going to be offices. We do usually just go for offices around there. So we'll just sort of surround that with offices. And I do think the rest of this is just going to be residential, which means I get to just have a bit of fun and just fill up that entire space and not really worry about what the buildings are actually going to look like, which is kind of my favorite way to do this. So we'll fill up all of that. I do want to put some parks in there because I do like having that little leisure boost. So we'll go ahead and throw this park there. And we could throw it... Uh, I'd love to be able to throw it up there as well, but I can't. Uh, we can put it there, though, so we'll do that. And that'll get a, get a bit of a boost for the area. Uh, we could try and put some buildings down here. I don't know if I want to bother. So I'm not going to for the time being. But I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy that we got all the roads in. So let's just go ahead and uh, go like that. 
so that we'll eventually get a power connection there. Now, obviously, we don't have any demand for residential right now, and I'm kind of wondering why. Are we having a death wave? That's actually something. Have we had any major death waves in this city? I feel almost like we haven't, which is pretty big news. Oh, now this is something we totally forgot about. Education coverage. Oh, no, we didn't. We totally didn't forget about it. Uh, we don't have any down here, though, so we are going to want to maybe throw an elementary school, say, there. And I'm going to put another one up there because I know what this game's like. I'm going to throw an L uh, a high school into that spot. Again, just for coverage. And then we just need to bring water through here. So let's just stick with the right angles that we usually do. I mean, we can't really curve the pipes anyway, but you know what I mean. We're just going to stick with the same system that we always do for the roads. We're going to follow the roads around, even though the roads kind of have curves. But there we go. We'll bring a pipe along there as well, connecting to that spot. We'll go straight up connecting to that spot as well. And down to there. And then all we need to do is go through the middle. Except I think we'll go like this through the middle. And then... the Apparently that. That's not what I wanted to do, but I'm not going to delete it because it covers the area anyway. Uh, and there we go. Alright, so they all have water. That'll hopefully keep them kind of happy. Uh, I do want them to get power. It's just going to take a little while because we need... You know, the power coming in in the top left there to connect to everything else, which... Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a minute. So I guess we're gonna wait for that to build. But when that does build, now that I think about it, there's a strong possibility we might maybe hit uh, seventy five thousand people. Maybe. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Oh, you guys have power. That's interesting. So they got power connecting straight across there, so maybe this isn't necessary. I mean, it obviously isn't necessary, so let me just delete you. And I kind of want power to connect across there, so... Let's do a small playground. So that all connects up. And we'll do a large playground, perhaps? Um, I don't know, we'll do another small one, I think, just there. So there we go, everybody in that area now has power. Which is beautiful news. And we should absolutely see this become a little bit more busy. Uh, actually, you know what might be an idea? Let me just check this. Yeah, so speed limits need to be reduced around here on those sections of highway. Because I don't really want traffic going completely nuts. We'll go with like 50. We'll, so we'll keep the, you know, the 50 kilometers per hour, but I don't want traffic going completely nuts around there. So that'll be fine. I kind of like that. So, yeah, we're just going to have to wait for this area to build up a little bit. But I do want to see what that ends up looking like. I'm also thinking, Anchor Square, we're going to go with a high-rise ban. For sure. And I'm kind of thinking I want to go with a commercial specialization here. So we're going to go with uh, organic and local produce, even though that's going to delete all the commercial stuff that just built. That's fine. We'll not worry too much about it. Let's do a... Big business benefactor. Because we might as well. We'll encourage biking. Uh, combustion engine ban. Uh, we could do an education boost. Because we might as well. And I think that'll be fine. So yeah, we'll give them sort of a, a bunch of local produce shops. And I could totally go with like sustainable living stuff and all that. But I, I don't think we're going to do that. Alright, so I think while we're waiting for this area here to fill up a little bit, what we could do is start working on expanding out from this area, possibly. Uh, since this area does... Well, I was going to say it needs expanded, but there's already a lot of traffic trying to get around that space. So I'm not too sure about that. Uh, something I do kind of want to do, and I don't know if I actually showed this, is I do want to expand out this way sometime. And I went ahead and put in a bunch of rocks and trees to make this look kind of nice. Uh, but I do want to figure out what to put in this space. I don't really know what it's going to be, but uh, I want it to be something. Uh, but what I think we'll do, just because we can, 
is we're going to go ahead and start expanding this way. So we're going to bring this up to here. We'll turn off guidelines. We'll go to there. And we'll bring this to, I don't know, there and in. And that'll kind of work. Uh, then what we could start doing is bringing roads pretty much right up to the highway. I think that'll be fine. We'll just sort of do it this way and have, um, have the roads like end at the highway. So kind of like that. Like what we did over here. And I think that looks all right. We could technically do the same here as well. Just to get some zoning in that space. And I think we could do maybe a road there as well. Just to let traffic flow through a little bit better. So we'll see how that goes. And then what we'll do is we are just going to put straight up industry on all of that. So just like so, they're obviously going to need some water. So right up to there. To there and in. And there we go. So that's going to be a bunch more industry, which is probably going to be a nightmare. If we're being honest with ourselves, because traffic in this area is starting to have some problems. It is starting to back up a little bit, largely down to the number of uh, recycling trucks. So I'm kind of thinking... Maybe we get rid of a few of the recycling plants, like four of them. How much of a hit is that to our recycling? It's a bit of a hit, but not huge. It's like, it's not, it's not critical, right? So if I move all of these into those spaces, that frees up more space in the middle for just industry. And it pushes a lot of the recycling trucks onto the side roads. So that might do some good for us. I, I mean, each of those buildings is pumping out 15 trucks. So we just got rid of 60 trucks. So that might end up, you know, being a bit of a benefit. That might end up helping us a lot. Granted, I did just add a bunch more buildings. So while I got rid of 60 garbage trucks, we've probably just added like 100 new general industry trucks to the roads. So <laughs> we're going to... We're going to see if that plays out. We're going to see if that goes well at all. Uh, I kind of have my doubts. I do kind of have my doubts. But, you know, we shall, uh, we shall totally see what ends up happening uh, with this road. Because it's super, super busy and is actually starting to back up here as well. All right, it's looking like this whole area is pretty much all full up. We are having some major, major issues with traffic, which I... Honestly, don't think we're ever gonna stop having. Uh, I'm gonna be real. I, I just think there are gonna be permanent problems uh, with traffic there. I will give them that extra lane, though, just to see what they end up doing with it. Because maybe that'll help filter traffic a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Uh, I do, however, want to just stop them from merging there. Because for some reason, it just annoys me when they do that. And it always seems to go wrong. They always seem to get stuck at, like, these weird merging points. So maybe just don't merge there. You know, stay in lane. Go where you gotta go. And, you know, work it from there. And, I mean, I, I could kind of do similar here. Like, if we said, hey, you can go to any lane. Now, this is probably something I'm gonna regret, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And you can go to any lane. And then you obviously go right, and you obviously go there. Uh, you go left, you go there, and you go there. In fact, you can go to any lane, just because I'm nice like that, right? So we let them, from this side or this side, they can go to any lane they want to go to. If I then tell them to stay in lane, this could go very badly. But alternatively, um... Because these days I'm a glass half full kind of per- Is it glass half full or glass half- I think it's glass half full that's like the optimist, right? These days, because I'm somewhat optimistic, I'm hoping- No, I'm believing that this is gonna go well. So today we're gonna find out. So you all go into the lane that you want to be in. And you all go into the lane that you want to be in. And now you're not necessarily backing up the lane that you don't want to be in. 
Right? Like that that's how that's working? Is that helping? I feel like it's kind of helping. I feel like I could go one step further though and say, hey, you know, this lane is uh, gonna go left. This lane is gonna go right. And this lane goes straight on. And we'll see how that goes. So traffic going left has its own lane. Traffic going straight on has its own lane. Traffic going right has its own lane. Which might help and might not. But I'm curious. I'm very curious to see if, uh, to see if we can do a good thing here. Uh, I, I'm not convinced, I'll be honest. I'm not entirely convinced, but, and, you know, whatever. We'll see. I'm just going to keep my eye on it. And we'll see, you know, if, if, if this ends up helping clear out some of the traffic from this industrial zone. Because the traffic in this industrial zone is going a little bit nuts. Uh, what's also kind of nuts is that we are so close to 75,000 people. We are so close. So I'm kind of wondering if I could maybe raise the terrain over here a little bit to uh, perhaps get some zoning along those roads so that I can uh, go ahead and actually get some nice big buildings along there at the top of the cliff. Because I think that could look pretty cool. Uh, so we'll raise the land like this. And then if I go ahead and update those roads, in theory, we should have some nice zoning on there. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to see. All right, perfect. Let's get the grass lining back on there, though. So just like that. And then we want to do residential buildings the whole way along there. And then I'm going to ever so slightly, and by ever so slightly, I mean quite massively, smooth out that hilltop. So that it's, you know, it's still prominent, but it's also, you know, slightly tweaked. So that right there will hopefully give us the little nudge towards 75,000 people that we're looking for. There's a definite possibility. Uh, there's a decent number of people in this building, so... I'm I'm really hopeful we can hit that 75,000 people. We're coming up in 74 already. So we'll see how the rest of that goes. Um, you know, I'll be honest. Traffic does seem to be moving a bit better on the bridge itself. It's back here that it's still just moving like utter garbage. Pun possibly, in, eh, pun not really intended. You know, recycling centers being the source of the problem here. And recycling centers being the reason that traffic's moving like garbage. I swear, jokes are really funny when you have to explain them in detail. That's that's how you know a joke was good from the get-go. That's that's, <laughs> that's the best kind of joke. Uh, let me turn off traffic lights there. I know it's unrealistic, but I kind of really want traffic to be able to actually move. Uh, so having traffic lights off there is going to be a great help for that. Because, you know, that's, that's just what we got to do here. Uh, in other news... Like I said, coming up on 75,000 people down here. All right, so while waiting, I went ahead and expanded this industrial area again because I figured, you know, traffic's not bad enough in here, so I might as well make it worse, uh, which is exactly what this is going to do. Uh, not, not by design, I will admit. I make jokes, but it hurts on the inside. Uh, <laughs> uh, I joke about my traffic, but it does, it hurts. Uh, but we do want to just fill up this area, and I, I really want to get this area, you know, not done and out of the way, but I really want to get this area, well, done and out of the way. Uh, so that's kind of what we're going to do. We're going to fill up a lot of this space. Uh, I do kind of want to put more offices in, though. So I think we're going to do some offices, like, down the highway here, and in there, and there. And possibly here as well. Just because I think offices there could be kind of neat. Then we'll start filling up all of this space. And we're pretty much just going to do the same in uh, all of this space as well. So all of that is just going to be more industry. More filthy, filthy industry. But that will more or less fill up that area. Except for this bit down here, which we'll do something with eventually. But I'm happy about this. I'm glad we got that space filled up. Uh, same with this one down here. And really, it's just a waiting game right now. It really is. We just got to wait on 
more people moving in. Unfortunately, we're getting a little bit of uh, residential demand down here, so... I think it might be a case of tearing out some industry to replace... Uh, not industry, some offices or some commercial or something like that to replace it with uh, some uh, houses. Because I really... I don't want to start a new construction project. Not yet, anyway. So let's clear out all of that and replace it with some residential zoning. And I think that might be enough to tip us over the edge. And if it isn't, then next time we're going to hit that 75,000. I just really want to hit the 75,000 today. I really want to hit it in this episode. It's like part 15. It's like, you know, it's a... It's not quite a round number, but it's almost like 15. Any number ending in five. It's not like a round number, but it's like almost there. You know what I mean? So like part 15, 75,000 people. I'd like to hit it today. I'd like to hit it on camera because we've hit so many of these goals off camera. And you know, it's the final goal. So hitting it would be great. I just don't know that it's going to happen. I really don't. I'm really not sure. I'm also thinking the high-rise ban might be part of the problem over here, but whatever. Oh, wow, I just realized we still have low-density stuff over here. What on earth are you guys doing right in the heart of my city? Let's get all of you out of here. Every single one of you can leave and be replaced with glorious, glorious high-density housing. Because I'm going to get 75,000 people in this city today, even if it kills me. So there we go. We'll get rid of all of you and replace you with uh, affordable apartments. And by affordable, I mean they are kind of close to the downtown area and very... Actually, yeah. They're next to a decent-sized park, next to a high school, next to a university complex, next to the city center. They are going to be anything but affordable. But it's the thought that counts. We're at 74,963,994. Please, there it is. We are a megalopolis. 75,000 sims in the city. We have the final tile. We got monuments and the international airport. Let's grab the final tile. And that right there is the city of Greendale. 75,000 people. I'm quite happy. This sounds like I'm wrapping up the series, doesn't it? I'm not. Don't worry. This is going to continue for a while because I, I want to go grab the 81 tiles mod. I want to start building over here. I want to expand the city. I want to see if I can bring the highway across here and like the whole way around and all that stuff. We are not by any means done with Greendale. But mm, oh boy. Oh boy. I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy with how it's uh, come along. It, I don't know what it is, but it feels different to all of my other cities. Maybe it doesn't to you, but to me, this does feel different to a lot of my other cities. And I think that is uh, because, you know, while it is, it's a lot of grids, there's grids at different angles. There's like bits of curving roads and all that stuff. And I don't know. It doesn't feel exactly the same as every other city that I've done. I don't know. I really like Greendale. I'm really happy with Greendale. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, thank you kindly for watching. This has been City Skylines Green Cities Part 15. There is much more to come and plenty to fix. And I guess I would suggest going ahead and throwing a bunch of mod suggestions into the comments because next time, uh, if I remember to, which hopefully I will, I will have gone ahead and added a few more mods, including 81 tiles and probably the prop line tool and stuff like that. So with that in mind, thank you kind of for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.